Hi, welcome to this video. I welcome you all to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In all our previous videos, we have studied the basic concepts and definitions related to thermodynamics. Now, in today's video, we'll try to understand the first law of thermodynamics that is applied to a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle or a change of state. So before going to first law of thermodynamics, we should know what is a thermodynamic cycle and what is change of state. So let us consider these examples. The first one, thermodynamic cycle. Now what is a thermodynamic cycle? When you have a series of processes carried in such a way that the initial and final states are same. Example, you have a PV diagram here. Here we have taken the pressure, we have taken volume on this axis and you have a process started from this point one to two, you have a compression process, then you have constant volume heat addition. Let us say you have a third process here. So you, this is two, this is three, this is four and four to one back again. So this is a series of processes carried in such a way that you have initial and final point or uh, states same. Example, you have started from here. 1 to 2 is your first process. Then 2 to 3 is another process. 3 to 4 is the third process. And 4 to 1 is the final process. So at the end of my fourth process, I am coming back to the same position, the same state from where I have started. Means we have completed a cycle and this is called as thermodynamic cycle. Whereas when I say a change of state, consider any one process out of it. Let us say 1, 2, 2. So change of state, change of state. When we talk about change of state, it is only a single process example this one you have one two two here pressure is there here volume is there you have changed the state from one to two you have certain changes in the values of properties of the system and this is called as change of state and this is called as thermodynamic cycle now first law applicable to a thermodynamic cycle is different and for a change of state it is different now what is the difference that is the curiosity point so let us try to understand in this process my system interacts with the surrounding in two ways that is energy interaction and mass interaction let us say we have a closed system means we are not having any mass interaction but there can be energy interaction again further energy interaction can have in two various ways one is heat interaction and second is work interaction let us say our system undergoing this cycle interacts with the surrounding with heat and work that is energy interactions so during one to two during this compression process you have to supply certain amount of work let us say we have supplied ws we have supplied work to the system during two to three there is certain amount of addition of heat so let us say here q is added so q supplied then during expansion process due to decrease in pressure increase in volume certain amount of w let us say it is obtained so here w obtained then 4 to 1 certain amount of heat is rejected let us say q r is given out so there are multiple interactions over the cycle somewhere you have a work interaction somewhere you have a heat interaction then also you have somewhere work supplied somewhere work obtained somewhere heat supplied somewhere heat rejected so these all things interacting with my system as per first law of thermodynamics it says that over the complete cycle whatever amount of heat you have supplied or rejected means summation of complete heat is proportional to the amount of work over the cycle means whatever amount of summation of heat is there should be proportional to the amount of work in this we all know that w has some sign conventions it is positive when it is obtained when it is obtained it is positive it is negative when it is supplied 
so it has to be sublet then it should be taken as negative but for q we have sign conventions q is positive when supplied so if you supply heat then it is positive and it is negative when rejected rejected by the system so now writing this in terms of our cycle we have two terms of w and two terms of q that is two terms of heat two terms of work so here you will be having q is during 2 to 3 so q 2 3 plus this one so that is a summation here q 4 1 should be proportional to this one w 1 2 plus w 3 4 but as per sign conventions here if i want to put the values here it is supplied so it is plus q 2 3 plus in bracket this is rejected so it should be minus q of 4 1 should be proportional to w that is supplied here it should be minus w 1 2 plus this is w 3 4 obtained so it is positive so this is our first law of thermodynamics applied to a thermodynamic cycle it says the amount of heat supplied or interacted over the cycle is proportional to the amount of work obtained over the cycle now in order to remove this proportionality sign we should add a certain constant so what constant is to be added here in Joule's experiment of first law of thermodynamics he says q equals to w now that means here one is constant now what is one he proposed a unit of heat that is called as joule now we always write one joule equals to one newton meter so what is this on one side you have heat which is having joule as a unit and on one side you have w which is having unit as newton meter and that's why we say one joule equals to one newton meter here constant of proportionality is called as joule and that's why i can remove this proportionality and say q equals to one into w for the complete cycle it should be cyclic integral here and it should be cyclic integral here so this is the first law for a thermodynamic cycle but in a change of state this equation is somewhat different now what is the difference see ya, when you have a thermodynamic cycle your system returns back after a series of processes to the original state and hence the total change in internal energy of the system is zero net change in internal energy is zero but when you are having change of state I initially we were at this position so we were having here pressure p1 and volume v1 now we are at this state so we have a pressure p2 and volume v2 so these values are different but here we have started from one so this is pressure one this is our initial pressure and after completing all these processes we came back to one so our final pressure is also p1 and our initial volume was v1 and final volume also comes to v1 means there is no change in internal energy of the system but here you have change of internal energy that's why it is said that as per first law of thermodynamics for a change of state amount of heat supplied should be equal to change in internal energy of the system plus work obtained by the system so this is the equation for a change of state if you say that your system is returning back by using another processes then delta e becomes zero you have a cycle completed and q becomes equal to w same as this case so this is regarding first law of thermodynamics applied to a closed system undergoing thermodynamic cycle and a change of state here first law of thermodynamics always deals with three parameters the first is heat second is change in internal energy and third is work so in some textbooks you may find this relation as written at w equals to q minus delta e now what it means 
we have just rearranged the terms here it is trying to say that the amount of work obtained from the system is equal to amount of heat supplied minus change in internal energy of the system so it makes no difference if you use this equation or this it is one and the same so this was all about first law of thermodynamics applied to a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle and a change of state in our coming videos we will deal with various processes and we will try to find out the amount of work done in each and every process Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe our channel and stay connected with us. Thank you.